So the next nerve block we're going to discuss is the posterior superior alveolar nerve block, or the PSA. And the PSA is for the maxillary teeth, okay, and it's pretty much is uh, used for the molars, okay, so teeth numbers one, two, and three, which are our first, second, and third molar on the upper arch. So once again, I will start by placing a two-by-two two gauze in the soft tissue area. Now for the PSA, our landmark is the second molar. This is the second molar, and we're just going to go just distal to the second molar in the vestibule in this area here. And I'm using, going to use a 30-gauge short needle and pretty much going to almost once again bury the needle to the hub, okay? So I've dried the tissue there with my 2x2 two two gauze. I'm going to place my topical anesthetic in the area that I'm going for and get Dr. Bavel to close down. Now, in order to retract the soft tissue to make sure that you're being safe uh, with your needle and not uh, in jeopardy of having a needle stick, you can use a, a tongue depressor. Um, you can use a mouth mirror. Um, I use my finger because I've been doing this for several years and I'm comfortable using my finger. But if you're not as comfortable, I would recommend using a tongue depressor or a mouth mirror, something that can get your fingers out of the way uh, for the PSA injection. And open. So once again, I will retract the tissue. Now for the PSA, particularly a lot of times when a patient opens really wide, the condyle will collapse in on you and it, it, it limits the amount of space that you have to get into the vestibule. So when I'm doing the PSA, I will have my patient closed down about halfway. Go ahead and close down. And that opens up my area a little bit more to go right in the vestibule where I want to go. Just distal to my second molar. And I will inject just slightly under the tissue and then just continue all the way up to almost within a millimeter or two of the hub and inject the rest of the carpule. Now on the maxillary, the chances of you injecting into a vessel are very slim and come out. And that's going to allow all of my molars, my, my third molar, my second, and my first molar to be anesthetized.